Hello everybody, welcome back to Mongoose Gaming. So we're going to continue on. I've gotten an invite to a Mega Swamper in sunny weather. We're going to take this on and solo it. Now, um, you guys know how this goes, so I uploaded my Blaziken video. This will probably go up a little bit later. I don't want to do like back to back within a couple minutes, with a couple minutes, like 20 minutes of each other. So this will go up a little bit later. Um, but Mega Swamper, we just soloed Mega Blaziken. It was uh, fairly easy. All psychic types, flying and water also work, but psychic is your top one. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Mega Swampert is double weak to grass. That's it. Grass types. Here it is. We have Mega Sceptile. Get your Mega Sceptile energy. Mega Evolve Sceptile to Mega Sceptile. Number one counter. Then it goes Kartana. Uh, Mega Venusaur. Um, I have all the counters right here, so we'll go for those. And remember, if you like my content, remember, like, subscribe. <laughs> Twitch link will be in the description. But again, the top counters are Mega Sceptile, Kartana, Mega Venusaur. Shadow Venusaur is the root. Shadow Alolan Executor. If you got one of those during that day. Shadow Tangrowth, Sky Form Shaman, Shadow Torterra, and rounding up the top 10 is Shadow Executor. So there's our team right here. We're going to go ahead and switch over to our empty lobby. Get ready to take this on. <clears throat> now, this will be my first attempt at doing it, but because I know I soloed Blaziken, I know Mega Swapper could be soloed. So we're going to go ahead and get going and jump in. And I happen to have a very good IV Mega Sceptile, so this should be pretty, uh, just make some uh, quick work of it. Um, but again, top counters being Mega Sceptile. It was Mega Venusaur, but now Mega Sceptile is in the game. The time difference is actually pretty staggering. Mega Sceptile has a time rated at 177, and Mega Venusaur at 218. So there's a 50 second, almost 50 second difference there. So that's that's pretty big. Um, now they keep knocking Mega Venusaur down, but of course Shadow Venusaur is at 219. So at this point, it comes uh, with Mega Sceptile out. You're looking at just using Shadow Venusaur behind Mega Sceptile. Um, Mega Venusaur is still though, it's still pretty cool. I say Mega Venusaur looks better. Um, but we're continuing on here. We're doing some decent damage just with just Mega Sceptile. This looks to have double water moves. I know that's water gun. Um, what's the, what's the charge? Oh, muddy water. Oh, then this is, I didn't know the moves going into this one. This is gonna be cake. <laughs> okay, there goes Mega Sceptile. <clears throat> on to Kartana. Now Kartana is the top grass attacker, but it's <laughs> very weak. Um, it's, it's not so much a glass cannon, it's just, it's kind of, uh, it's defense kind of sucks. But we're doing just fine. There we go. Probably get off another leaf blade before it gets off of muddy water. Is that going to take us out? Yeah. All right, now we're on to our Shadow Venusaur. I'm hoping in one of these updates they can either make Mega Evolution permanent or let us have multiple Mega Evolved Pokemon at once. Um, I honestly don't know which I'd prefer. I think multiple Mega Evolved at once, so this way you can uh, just let the evolution run its course and run out. Because um, keep them Mega Evoed would mean that you'd have to get more of one type of Pokemon. So I think I think multiple Megas would be great. All right, doing just fine here. Now we're on to Shadow Tangrowth. <sighs> Let's see here. Hold on. <laughs> I like when I go to mute the mic to cough. Like one time I did, you hear the click. Before, before and after the mute, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, we're doing, we're making really, really good time here. I think after this, I have my Roserade, so it should be okay. Okay, doing fine, doing good. I'm not gonna have to re-lobby, um, but this is doing, it's doing better against me than I thought it would, especially with Muddy Water. Dodge that, gets his Power Whip off real quick. There we go. All right, now I'm onto my Roserade, so we'll see how we do here. Now, again, as I just said, I shouldn't have to re-lobby, but this is going to be... Okay, not close. It's going to be close to re-lobby. I'm obviously going to get this done. Um, but yeah, Roserade. And now, Roserade is on the top counters list. It's a little bit lower than 10, but Roserade is definitely a safe bet counter to have. Um, it's rated at number 14, just ahead of uh, Frenzy Plant septile non-mega so it's it's like i said it's not terrible rose raid is like a really is one of those really really good backups to have especially as poison attacker too doubles as a great grass attacker and a great poison attacker there's my last one there we go 102 seconds so there we go there's the mega septile um solo so again mega septile uh mega septile mega swamper takedown with mega septile leading off cartana mega venusaur shadow venusaur is the root runner your top five and again your top 10 rounds out to Shadow Little and Executor, Shadow Tangrowth, Shaman Sky, Shadow Torterra, and Shadow Executor. So, 
make sure you have those counters out there um this was done in sunny weather so a little bit easier now i probably can be done in any weather with grass just make sure you have at least two people if you're not sure again two people with grass counters it is the only thing thing is the only thing it is weak to grass use grass counters all the way you'll be fine um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember, link for the Twitch will be in the description. If you do like the content, remember, leave a like, please, on my YouTube. Consider subscribing. Until then, guys, thank you. I will see you on the next video. Have a great rest of your weekend.